How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and this is going to be my first in a potential series of videos that I do that focus on utilities for Windows that make maintaining the operating system easier for you. So the one we're going to be looking at here today is an application I've actually been using for quite a while. I would say about six to seven months at this point. It's called Folder Size. It's by Mind Gems. I'd never heard of them before actually using this software. It is freeware, which means that the default application is free to use, but there are upgrades or paid upgrades you can make which increase the number of features that you have access to when using it. So as you can see here, free, paid, and personal. I personally have been using the free version of it and it works fine for me, but if you need to do other things like maybe scan a network drive with it, you might need to upgrade to personal or professional depending upon what your needs are here. So I installed the download right here from the download tab. It's pretty simple, it's pretty really small, 2.5 megabytes. And if uh, I type folder into my search menu, right here we go, folder size is the desktop app. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and then I'm going to explain why I really love this program. Okay, so the reason that I'm personally really vested in folder size and the reason why I tend to use it a couple of times a month is because what oftentimes can happen is you'll have a disk that is pretty much full. So for example here, if I take a look at my current disks that I have in my main computer here, you will notice that data D, the data drive, it only has 47 gigabytes left of about two terabytes worth of space. Now, there's probably going to be data on that drive that I really don't need anymore. But finding it by trying to look through folder after folder, looking at folder sizes, stuff like that is going to take so much time. And we can save that time by using folder size to analyze data D, the data D drive for us. So we just select it here in the drop down menu. All of your drives are available there. You'll notice uh, networked drives show up as well, but you can't scan them unless you have the professional version. For me, I really don't need the networked drive version of this yet. That's most certainly something I'm keeping in mind for the future, especially when I upgrade to a more professional NAS solution for my main storage. And in that case, I might go ahead and pay the $40 to upgrade the professional version of folder size so I can scan those. But we're just going to select the data D here. You click the play button. Uh, if you have folders in there that you want it to scan that are locked, so to speak, they have administrator privileges, you'll need to run the folder size application at, with administrator privileges. I never do this really because I really don't see a reason why any file that would be protected by those kind of uh, restrictions I would need to delete. But if you're somebody who's maybe sharing a computer with other people, it might be a problem. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna click okay, and it will take a while to go ahead and scan the drive depending upon how much data is on it. This time it was relatively quick because I'd previously scanned this drive not that long ago. And you'll notice you'll get a nice pie chart down here listing the various folders that are available on that drive, what percentage of the overall drive's capacity they consume. So as you can see here, my Steam library is currently consuming 13.9% of the drive's capacity. My downloads is 6.85%. But more importantly here, we're probably looking at Bandicam. This is a folder that I created a while ago, and it mostly stores footage that I never used for video projects that I was working on. So if you want to narrow down that search, just click on that pie, and you'll notice things are broken down here once again by folder. And it looks like Civilization 4 is at the top. You'll see, if you prefer not to pay attention to the pie chart, you can always look at the listing of folders and files in the folder we're currently navigated to. And as you might be able to see here, the Civilization 4 folder is currently the largest one, consuming 21.43% of the cumulative data of the files in this folder that we're currently looking at. So we can just double click on that. And, ooh, look at this. Here is a file that I created in kind of late 2017, and it's using up a whole 93 gigabytes of data just for this one file. Now I can right click on that file, click locate in Explorer, and it automatically opens up Windows Explorer to that file location. And we can just go ahead, delete those three items like that. And let's open up Windows Explorer again. And you'll notice now we have 142 gigabytes. Deleting that one file certainly did free up my D drive. And the reason why I use folder size for this is because otherwise I might not know which folders have the biggest files that I am no longer interested in keeping. I'm just gonna scan the drive again. And this time you'll see the Bandicam size has shrunk a little bit. And now the new folder is currently the largest file on here. And I know this is somewhat confusing. Civilization 4, the folder that I just deleted that file from, is obviously at the bottom now. But another folder has risen to the top and it's called Civilization 6. It's not at the absolute top. So here this folder says it has 67 gigabytes worth of data inside it. Let's take a look at what that is. So it's another file 
that I recorded in early 2017 that I've never used and it's taking up an entire 65 gigabytes. We locate it in the, the Explorer. We could go ahead and open it up here. And you'll notice it's a recording of Civilization VI that I did at a very high bit rate and it's taking up a ridiculous amount of space on that drive proportionate to everything else that I have stored there. So I could just go ahead and delete it right away. And it was really easy to drill down and find these files using the folder size application. Obviously, if you're somebody more organized than myself, you'll probably never run into problems like this because all of the data you store will be neatly packed away and you'll know where to find it. But I'm somebody who's a little bit more loose and fast with how I store data. And many times I don't have a structured approach to it, which means I end up storing files willy nilly, which leads to me having obsolete data that I simply need to get rid of to free up space in my, on my computer. So if that's something that might apply to you, go ahead and check out folder size. Like I said, the version that I'm using is the freeware version. I've had no need so far to upgrade to anything else, but the actual prices are not the most outrageous. The personal version is uh, $25 USD and the professional version is $40 USD. And I think that's a small price to pay to, for a tool this powerful. It has tons of filters in it and stuff. I really haven't bothered going in depth on it because the use case I have for this application doesn't require it, but there is a lot more available here than just what I demonstrated. So once again, that is a Windows utility that I've been using called Folder Size. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.